it's a two-sided coin because it's like like all coins, asshole. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hi everyone, I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming, and we're continuing to play Mario Odyssey. Whee! And more importantly, we're going to continue talking about cannibalism. Yeah. So I know that everyone was thinking, "Who boy?" I'd love I, to hear more about that. Yeah, like I just cannot get enough cannibalism talk. I think a bicep might be tasty. Well, see, I was avoid. That's why I things trying to suck up all the juice from our city. The moon juice. He's trying to suck up all the juice from Dong City. Oh shit. Donk. Donk. <laughs> anyway, I like I can't hear the name without thinking of a giant hammer hitting a uh, cartoon character on the head. That's really creepy looking giant it robot. It really is. I really like, like it. I, but it is. I love hate it. Oh, and now no. I'm dead. I couldn't have dodged there. That was not me being bad at the game. Maybe if you were better at the game, time. the game cinematic would have let you dodge. That's a fair point. That's that's an unlockable <laughs> dodging mid cinematic. Give me tanks. It is or now that we give tanks for the gifts that we are about to receive. Oh, cool. I like this mechanic. That's there you yes, go. Gotcha. There you go. Yeah, this is uh, this is oh. our chance. I was gonna say this is a really fun, uh, really fun, but really uh, kind of difficult boss fight uh, because of the tight time windows involved, and then I just like almost completely squandered a time window, and that would have <laughs> been bad. But yeah, I was purposely sticking to eating organs rather than muscles because muscles are the easy, like you know, a nice rump steak. Yeah. Um. But, you said uh, rump steak. Oh, because like that's what you go for. You go for something that is like not overly toned because that makes it kind of chewy and fibrous, and uh, you want something that's well marbled. So yeah, with the with the fats and the whatnots, it's shit. I know I always talk to you about this uh, pork recipe that my buddy Dino makes, but um, I'm excited to say that not only has he been <laughs> like te teaching me how to make go, it. Go, go, oh, fuck! But uh, I'm really, I'm going to be, uh, I've learned more about the recipe, which I think was kind of fascinating. And because it's made with pork, it relates to the people eating that we're talking about. Yeah, the similarities. yeah, of course. But um, I guess I guess the recipe was taught to him by his mother, and she got it from a Vietnamese farmer friend of hers. That who, sounds like something out of, like, a movie. Like... It's like, oh, she went, she ventured over and like. Well, no, no, it wasn't like, I mean, actually, this guy sounds more like an adventure over. Here's the, she's an art curator, so she. Uh, wow, that was quick. For um, I had way more trouble wow. with that on my own game. Yeah, good work. Woo! She, she works as Donk. the, uh, as, as a art curator for the Cleveland Art Museum. Okay. So she actually does a lot of traveling, meets a lot of really interesting people. Okay. Their family also travels the world a lot. Mm -hmm. That's just something that their family does. We always joke about his sister because she only seems to date men from, uh, from South America and different like South American countries. Okay. Her most recent boyfriend is actually from Yugoslavia, so not <laughs> South American at all. <laughs> I was just gonna say, more I, importantly, I think your not thesis American. Has fallen apart. <laughs> so, um, ah. but but this guy, this guy apparently she met him. He was trained uh, oh, as a chef, as a chef from. I love the pantsuit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, as as a chef from. Uh, uh, like a, a French, like French cuisine, mm -hmm. and he took what he learned from over there, plus some of his own home stuff. He created this like pretty easy but pretty delicious pork recipe, which then she taught to Dino, and then Dino has been teaching all of his friends. Our, our buddy Corey actually is taking that pork recipe and putting it in his restaurant, and he's huh. just going to be selling it there. And I, I, I told Dino, I was like, you better be able to get, get that cut. for free whenever get your you get cut, there, son. Got to get that cut. Actually, get he that cheddar. We, we, we've already and decided. And not literal cheese. Because we, we, we've you know, already heavy. made the, the group decision that that particular recipe is what's going to unite the. We're, we're going to get we're going to get that pork recipe to Israel and Palestine. <laughs> Traditionally, don't eat pork, but we're pretty sure we can convince them, and we'll stop all war <laughs> if they I, eat this pork recipe. I am amazed that I did not make the connection to hey pork really. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so now she's planning a festival, and she wants four backup musicians. Let's go catch us some musicians. Where can I find one? I don't know. <laughs> but jam with this guy. He seems pretty cool. Yeah, indeed. Even over the rhythm of the city, I heard you, Mario Pauline, to talking. Been a while since I was able to be part of the city's festival. Been a long while. If she'll have me, you tell the big lady. Uh, she's very, she's, 
He's slender. Thank you very hey, much. She's big in personality. Give me your damn moon. <laughs> she's big in personality. Actually, she's big because she's twice the height of Mario. Which, that's an interesting... Uh, well, Mario's from the Shire, so that explains why no, everyone's actually, taller than him. Well, I, I was going to say the current working theory, but it's the... Uh, uh, it's the theory from Game Theory, uh, YouTube channel that I watch. Um, essentially, because like they've done a lot of background about you know how tall is Mario based off of you know like here's the average height for this thing, and if you take you know this many pixels tall is this, and this many pixels tall is Mario, this that the other, and I uh, like they had landed at he's five ten, but then this game came out and. You know, this happened, <laughs> and he's just like, "Well, was I wrong forever, or what?" The uh, his working theory right now is that uh, since this is New Donk City, uh, reference to Donkey Kong, people in this city have been eating the uh, the banana horde uh, from Donkey Kong Country, which is known to make things giant. So these are all and these are all giant, giant donkey humans. People, like yeah. these 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 donkey those these New Donkians are, uh, are like 10 feet tall. On, that, that's what I'm going to do as my pickup line. I'm going to let ladies know I'm from Dong City. I've been eating them Dong bananas, and that's why I'm the biggest one on the block. Yeah, you, uh, you, you good luck with it. Please, please videotape that. Videotape. <laughs> Jesus, I'm 90. Um, <laughs> please that record on the video that. cassette. Perhaps you can use your Polaroid to capture each moment. Your Polaroid camcorder, because <laughs> that's a thing. But yeah, please record that, because I will absolutely... Those will be bonus episodes, guys. <laughs> if this Corwin attempting and failing to pick up women who are not his fiance, this will be great. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to do stuff like that. Not not, not try to pick up, like, pick sure, up women, you didn't. but the way that... You know, I, I would pick them up. I'm very strong. But uh, I was uh, my buddy's wingman, and I would uh, just... I would I would just go up to strangers when I was with him in public and just start trying to upsell them. Didn't matter who it was. It was just, hey mailman, let me tell you about my buddy Mark. He's hey, a female man. You <laughs> that too. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I'm not sure if I've told those that story though on this show you before. Have. So yeah, I'll refrain from doing yeah. it again. But yeah, that's uh, it might just be me. But is it like, it, tell me, tell me, America and Corwin, um. Is the idea of a wingman, like, horribly outdated? Because I feel like it is. Here's how I view it. The, it is an outdated thing. However, we live in a society that has a lot of uh, insecurities nope, and I'm not is get that. very, um, like, shy, nervous, ha have other, like, kind of, like, lack of self-confidence. Yeah. Having a wingman, having a friend there who's, like, there to be like, hey, I know you're nervous about this, but I got your back. Let's keep you going. Well, yeah, like as, in, that, as an think, icebreaker, yeah, I and guess. I think that that's and I think that's the best use for something like that. Yeah, I know as an example when I've act legitimately been wingman before. I've I've never actually wingman for uh, like any of my dude friends. I was a wingman for my uh, my lesbian friend, and I was, she she would take me to uh, gay bars, and I would help her pick up chicks because I was uh, someone people were comfortable talking with, and I would talk easily. So I'd strike up a conversation you know. with somebody and. Uh, then I would introduce her mid conversation somewhere mm -hmm. in there, and then it would normally work and worked out really well. Yeah, I guess that's actually it's more that the like the meaning of wing man, wing man has changed over the years. Like, because it used to be like back in the broiest of bro days, it was well, you know, I'm gonna I'll, I'll take one for the team and you know go for the ugly girl so yeah. that yeah, it's like that. Yeah, that, that is that, horribly outdated. That, that's and terrible. just assholes being assholes. I yeah. think I I I view I view the term wingman as like yeah. your support because I feel like you can have a wingman for anything. Like like I could be like, um, hey man, I've got this job interview. I'm not I'm not obviously not taking you to the job interview, but like you can um, <laughs> come along with me. But 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 you can like help me out a whole bunch of like, hey, how's you gonna do this? Because you're 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 wingman to me. You got my back. You can go with me to the interview and hang out outside until I'm done. Maybe there's like I mean not me per se, but I'm like saying like as a as a friend. If a friend was like, hey, I know you're insecure. I know you've got some issues. Let me help you out. I got your back. You are in fact just. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was just the most pointless thing to be caught on. No, it's actually kind of awesome, but it uh, it cracks me up <laughs> nonetheless. 
But no, I mean, I understand your point, and it is a good... It, because the term wingman normally makes people go, why is this guy such an asshole? But... Well, and actually, oddly enough, some of the best wingmen are just there to be assholes. Because it's the... It, it's it makes you like look better the, when... Well, it's, it's like the... Like the Have You Met Ted from yeah. uh, How I Met Your Mother, where it's just like it, like the first point of conversation that you have with this new person that you met is, man, my friend's an asshole, eh? Yeah. Also, I'm Canadian now, so that's neat, eh? Well, I mean, it's you happen to be doing this uh, thing in Canada at the time, so oh, I yeah. understand. Yeah, that's... Because chicks, chicks up there love the, uh, no, the American chicks, accent. It they just they really do. <laughs> Like, I know every time I'm in Alaska, I am just like, hey, Canadians, what's up? You... Okay, so do you not know where Alaska is, or do you not know where no, Canada I know, is? No, I know that Alaska thinks that they're American, but we know. We know. <laughs> that was not I... the way you wanted that to go. God That's a fireball. It. Nope, it's fine. Everything's fine. I meant to do that. They, they're up there hanging out over at their Canadian friend's house every day. They never come home for supper. You... I... Many parts of Alaska are very far away from Canada. Like, very far. Like the supermarket, or like which part are we talking about here? The left part. The sad part, because there's a lot of that in Alaska. I've actually never been to Alaska, but I know that essentially people in my line of work, if you're willing to live in the middle of nowhere for like five years, you can make a ton of money. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because they say like, you know, way, way off in the far boonies, like, uh, working as, like, maintenance on industrial equipment and stuff. Uh, they just, they sign you on for, like, five years or something and give you, you know, like, probably over a million dollars. Yeah, if I was... Where you just, you go and you do that, and... If but I was you a live, person, I would live out, out that way. But because... you live, like, nowhere. Like, you can't... You go, oh, I'm out of I'm out of milk. Better run to the store. It's just like, no, the store takes the form of a plane that, that comes, comes in high. every two weeks, giving you supply drops like you're in the fucking jungle. That and actually sounds kind of awesome. Like it I sounds, I, I would not do it permanently. Manage. I could, I don't think I could do it for more than like a week. I would go insane. It would actually, it would really depend. It would depend adventure. on, uh. How much access to internet I have? Yeah, that's the other thing too. You gotta have internet like, access. Internet and video games, like, cause I could, I could see myself entertaining myself. Oh, dude, I would, I would or... entertain myself by doing shit that I knew I couldn't do anywhere else. Like, I would, I would walk around naked everywhere and just shit where I felt like it. I would be like, you know what? That I'm okay, getting paid a million dollars to live out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm just gonna. And you just got fired from your million dollar job for walking around nude. It, well, actually, no, you would just die of hypothermia. What do you... Well, what if it's during the summertime? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe, it's I'll, grow, maybe I'll grow a warm coat. It's a frozen wasteland. I'll grow a thick, like, warm and, coat. Keep and I'm not warm. being insensitive. This is the like the part of Alaska that is a frozen wasteland. Which is why pooping in random places outside is totally acceptable. No one's out there anyway. Yeah, they're it's animals really good for the soil. If and they... they're doing it too. I'm being a group. I'm being a friend Damn and a friendly group member. But no, I mean, if they won't, if they're worried about the environment and won't drill for oil up there, then I feel like your contribution to that that ecosystem is going to be far more hazardous my, my than or, any drilling. My organic, all natural contribution. Yeah, there are a lot of things that are all will, natural. Will well, that definitely and help the soil. Given your diet, I don't think it counts as all natural. Well, my anymore. diet would be all natural because it'd be based off of what they're dropping on me. I can't be. I can't be dropping my uh, Chipotle diet just out there because I don't got a Chipotle. Ooh, delivery Chipotle. That would be amazing. Middle. Actually, no, that would be terrible. We've discussed this in the office once before. Where it's just like, oh man, wouldn't it be great if Chipotle would deliver? Just like, yeah, that'd be great until we shit ourselves to death. Yeah. That's like, and just, you know, just emptied out. Like, I weigh 10 pounds now because everything else is just gone. I can Turned imagine. Into Chipotle. I can imagine being out in the middle of nowhere and just slowly becoming friends with like, uh, with like a winter fox or a wolf that lived out in that area. And then you get eaten. And what are you I'm, insane? And as we're slowly becoming friends, like we got that, like we keep like fifty yards away from one another. <laughs> you have like a bit, mutual respect. Yeah, you just make but, eye contact. But little by little, it comes a little closer. Like in dances with wolves, we start becoming friendly. But then, and then we play a little game, and then we both stop. We look each other dead in the eyes, 
and then we both squat and poop. And since I'm not wearing any clothes anyway, we can do it together. Okay. And that is how you get a wolf wing man, taking it back to what we were talking about. And I think that having a wolf wing man is the best way. And then, like, like, like can you see, imagine being is, is like, that, all right, all right, wolf wing man, I've been really wanting to talk to Jessica for like six years. I'm assuming Jessica Here's is a moose yeah, in this but, scenario. Yeah, in this scenario, Jessica's absolutely a moose. Okay, good. So, just want to make sure we're on the same you page. You got wolf wing man. Coming up, barking up, chasing, not a barking, sorry, howling and chasing. Yeah, you don't um, want him barking up the wrong Jessica tree. The yeah, you definitely, there's no trees. <laughs> Jessica's but, a lesbian. She's, he's barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's scaring her, running this way, and then you're going to jump out and be like, oogity boogity. And then he's going to pretend like he's actually scared of your naked fuzzy butt. <laughs> Did you just say a scared? <laughs> yeah. And then he's going to just run away. And then you just save Jessica from the wolf. And then later, like, you know, years later, once you and the moose Jessica have gotten married, uh, you yeah, can be you like, and hey, your little my, moose my, babies are my, uh, my best the man story. is uh, is a wolf is, is a wolf named Rebecca. And uh, oh, do it across the just there. Oh, please, please, please. There, oh, yes. yeah. Nice work. <sighs> that okay. was cool. There's the fourth musician. I've been looking for this guy. <laughs> like, I've just been randomly getting moons for a while. Uh, so on the next episode, episode we'll uh, we'll finish this out and we'll have uh, have our full band. Uh, what <laughs> do you guys think is our worst driving habit? Like things that we do on the road that we really probably shouldn't. Answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well, and we will uh, try to play them. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you have friends who would like our stuff, share the videos around with everybody. Yeah, I and your mother. <laughs>